What's up, folks? DT Fox here with an episode of Oaf, or more specifically, Overlooked, Underrated, or Forgotten. And this episode is Bomberman Fantasy Race, yet another game that kind of played a part in my childhood. In fact, it's probably one of my most favorite racing games out there. One of the most interesting things about this game is that it's it came around the time, the boom of uh, go-karting games. Like, everyone tried to like get on the high heels, or heels, or coattails, or whatever kind of tails of Mario Kart. And some of them did good, not a lot of them did really good. I think the best one that actually kind of worked out in the same sense was Crash Team Racing, also for the PlayStation 1. But my personal favorite that was in Mario Kart is this game, on Man Fantasy Race. It does so much different stuff and so much new stuff, or maybe not that many new stuff, but it definitely kind of takes it in a different way compared to just throwing famous characters into go-karts and letting them drive around. Let me skip this animation and... well, the animation was about to end anyway, but let me just show you what I mean. Bomberman Fantasy Racer! I'm sorry about that, but, uh, yeah, one of the lovable things about this game is that a lot of the stuff is pretty much in Japanese or English, not counting the words right here. But yeah, you can choose your character, who's the racer, and I just chose Bomberman, I always choose Bomberman, White Bomber. And yeah, instead of getting go-karts and any kind of vehicles, instead you get a, you get the animals, like the mascots of the series. You get a Louie or a Tira, and they come in various different colors, and the different colors mean different kind of powers or abilities for their racing abilities. You can also choose weapons. It is pretty much like Mario Kart, except with Bomberman. And let me just show you right here why I, I personally enjoy this game, while running and gunning without any guns. It really does pretty much just mix Mario Kart and Bomberman together into a racing game, and it's just so great. But like, despite, you know, the graphics, well, yeah, it still just looks nice. It has like a good sense of speed, too. Oh, dang. It's already started. That's what I get for not paying attention. But yeah, just like any other racing game, you hold the X button, or what is considered the acceleration button, and you just run like how you would drive in any go-karting game. Really fun. And it takes the elements of Bomberman where rather than just simply waiting for items or hitting item boxes, you can actually charge your throws and throw them at people. Try to mess them up. Try to get them off course so that you can be the winner of a race. It's a race, so that's the point of it. And check this out. Speed up, boo! Yeah! That you, if you jump off those walls at the right... Ooh, I just got beasted off. <laughs> if you jump off those walls at the right time and you see something that signifies a little paw pad, it actually gives you a special speed boost, but you have but it comes with consequences. If you hit that wall wrong, you will bounce off that wall and you will hurt it, slow down, and probably lose the race. So you know, don't take that chance. Don't cast a check that your butt can't cash. Count. Cash. Count. Do not cash a check that your butt can't Alright, I don't even know. You know what I mean though, and if you don't, shame on you. Yeah, check it out. It's just... I just love this game. It's just so colorful, so fun. Ooh. And that's what I mean right there. If you hit that wall wrong, you're kinda screwed. Fortunately, it's not that bad to catch up. You actually get to do a little overdrive move, where if you hold the up button, or hold forward on... I don't think the analog stick works in this game. If you just hold up, forward, you actually get them to sprint a little bit faster. But also, that also kinda comes with sacrifice, too. That If you, if you look at the top right corner, you see the Louis face. And, you know, if you make them too winded, they won't be able to keep boosting. And it takes forever for that boost to come back up. And you really need that overdrive boost sprinting. Like, for especially the end of the race. This is the third lap, so I gotta kinda hurry up. But yeah, they do have item cards, which are like the item boxes in Mario Kart. It's pretty much the only thing I can really compare it to. And that also kinda comes with risk, too. That you can sometimes get good items, sometimes you can get bad items. Who knows? Alright, I can... let's see what I'm gonna get. I can still win this race. Uh, let's see. Come on, come on, come on. You can do it, Louie. Green Louie, go! You can do this! No, <laughs> I can't. You failed me, Louie. Uh, I think there's enough time to go for a second run. What do you people say? You don't have a say. <laughs> uh, unless you kind of want to. Let me retry that. It's the only stage I can kind of do anyway. I can't find my memory card. For now. But yeah. Let me see, differences between the characters. The Louis are more speed runners. the Tiris I think are more stamina holders. But again, the different colored Louis have different colored powers. 
But unfortunately, you can't really get different colored Louis unless you earn money in this game. Which is kind of the main motivator of this thing. It's just pretty much to come in first place in all the races and unlock all the characters. And of course, the better the characters, or sorry, the better the creatures, which are the Louis and the Tiras, the more expensive they're going to be. And the ultimate you can one, the ultimate, uh, the ultimate ones you can get is the Black Louis, which is crazy fast but really impossible to control, unless you know how. And then the Tiras, which the White Tira, which I think their stamina, really, come on, I'm trying to show off to people. I'm looking like a total noob. But uh. The White Tira, I would believe, has like really special stamina, like can you know just sprint for so long, despite it not being able to run too too fast. Well, I can do better than this. And yeah, you see me trying to throw bombs at myself. I'm trying to give myself a special boost, and you can only do it if you just throw it just right and not hurt yourself, <laughs> and you jump right over it. That should give you a special boost, which should. There you go. A little bit more speed to go a little bit faster, you know. Trying to win this race, this is the second lap so far. And you see me hitting up these little egg cards too. Yeah, egg card tin. No? Okay. But yeah, you see me hitting up these eggs, and they have different specials for different characters. See, when Louis collect these little egg cards, they actually can run faster. Despite it me going still slow. Yeah, they can run a little bit faster, going a little bit quicker, temporarily. And with Tiras, they create like a special aura that actually prevents them from getting hurt by bombs and certain other specific items. So yeah, there's a little bit of strategy that goes into this game. Oh, time stop. I'm in first place. Yeah, yeah. And fortunately, not all the items will really be against you. Like, it's impossible for computers to get a, a time stop when you're playing. In single player, at least. I'm not sure about multiplayer can never find anyone to play against, forever alone. Wah. Wait, I think I can win this. The race is almost over. And speaking of which, as far as multiplayer goes, there's only like two players, because again, this is back in the PS1 days, if you couldn't tell by the graphics. <laughs> the graphics! It's so sweet, it's so advanced! Nintendo doesn't stand a chance! And yeah, and the way it works is that it's just pretty much racing again. But you actually cut. You're allowed to bet up money if you want to within the game, not in real life, because betting is illegal in some states. I wouldn't know which states. But yeah, you can uh, bet money, and whoever wins the race, of course, gets that money. And back to single player mode, though, if you come in first place, you actually get to do the bonus game, where you do another race around the track, a single lap. And you just. Oh, false start. Whoops. <clears> hmm. <throat> Yeah, you do a single lap around the track to get as many coins as you can, because again, the more coins you get, the more things you can buy, including trying to buy more stages. You do need coins to buy more stages, which is also motivation in coming in first place. And the more expensive the stage is, the harder it's going to be, but fortunately, the better the payload, or the payoff, or the payroll, or the payback, or the piggyback, piggy bag pay, knick-knack, paddywhack, steel-driven Cadillac. But yeah, the higher the cost it is, the more risk there is, but the higher the payoff is to get more money, to unlock more Louis and Tiras. So yeah, definitely one of my most favorite games, and believe it or not, it's actually available on the PSN, the PlayStation Network, for the PS3, and you can play it on your PSP and possibly Vita, but I can't quite say for sure. It's a really fun game, and I think it's not even that expensive, probably about $7 or so. Don't hold me on that, but, you know, check the PlayStation Network. You might very well enjoy this game. There's seven stages, plus a mirror mode, multiplayer, two players, local. And I felt like this game was kind of a little bit before its time. And unfortunately, I don't think we're really going to be getting another one of these, because Hudson's been bought out by Namco Bandai, I think, and it's just kind of a shame that, like, I don't think we're really going to... I haven't... There's been no news about new Bomberman games. And to see this game with, like current gen technology would really make my day I personally believe but yeah this has been another episode of oof and yeah if you got a overlooked underrated or forgotten game that you want me to look into leave a comment or leave a like or let me know or send a PM I don't even know I don't even care and I shall see you guys next time hopefully with another game that maybe you've probably never heard of maybe you have and yeah so yeah that's all and I shall be heading out Peace, kids.